Welcome to CES 2026. This year, AI-powered robots are everywhere. It's a little freaky. We've got cute pet robots that I honestly want to take home right now. Scary looking robot dogs that can do backflips like in Black Mirror. Iron Man looking robots that can box or dance. There are robots that can play ping pong and probably beat you. I know they'd probably beat me. The robots can literally take a beating or a kick and just keep going. Wait, maybe not. Boxing robots seem to take center stage at CES 2026 this year. So let's watch a robot fight together in 3D VR 1D and see if we need to be scared of the day robots start fighting us. Okay, now you've seen robot versus robot. How about a robot fighting a real boxer? Let's go!
All right, <laughs> enough fighting. Let's watch some robots dance now. Yeah, sure. Uh, this is our latest launched. In yeah, this is our latest launched uh, industrial grade robot dog. It's called A2. Uh, when it's standing up, it has a carrying payload of over 100 kilograms, and when it's walking, it can carry about like 25 kilograms. Walk for three hours, cover a distance of 10 ki kilometers. Tell me about fighting robot. Yeah, so the fighting robots are our G1s. They are uh, launched in 2024. Um, for the past year, we've been developing a lot of skill sets for this G1. For now, it can do kickboxing, it can do kung fu, and it can also dance a lot. How do you train the robot? Is it real human being or programming? Yeah, as you can see, they have like human-like fluidity in their movements. That's because they learn their movements from people. For example, like the kickboxing ones, they actually learn their moves from professional fighters. So is there any AI in the robot and they like automatically like fight? Yeah, sure. Uh, um, when, they, uh, when they stabilize themselves, that's where AI kicks in. That's how AI helps them to keep uh, them sturdy and they can also like rebalance uh, wherever they are. For example, our G1 is also the champion of uh, 100 meter obstacle race uh, in this year. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, last year, 2025 is last year. In 2025, it's humanoid uh, robot games. So yeah, it can um, walk on, on even ground, it can even go upstairs, up slopes, and down. How strong is the punch? If they punch a human being, can they take it? Yeah, um, the punch is not that heavy, but it's a robot, so it's not gonna hurt. Okay. I see there's a bigger version of the robot. Is there a bigger version of that? Yeah, so uh, in 2025, we also launched a new full-size humanoid robot. It's called H2. It's a succession of our H1. For H2, it's more sturdy and elegant. Uh, we wish to see H2s in more scenarios and use cases. I hope you enjoyed this special robot showcase at CES 2026. Like it or not, AI robots are coming. So maybe learn their move just in case you ever need to fight one in the future. Just kidding, maybe not. Let's hope that future never comes because I'm definitely not beating a Terminator. In our next CES 2026 immersive experience, we'll check out lightweight XR headsets and how AI is taking over the wearable market. Day one of CES has been so much fun. I'll see you tomorrow in Spatial.